Hello, I'm going to show you how to reassemble an Apple TV Generation 1. Now, in the last video you saw, I took it apart because, well, why not? And so, now I'm going to put it back together. So first, I don't have compressed air, so I'm just going to redneck this. I'm just going to blow on it. You're going to want to take the motherboard and seat it back into place. And make sure that the thermal compound can has a stable, has a good, sits well with... With the bottom, it's all stable and good. And after that, you're gonna wanna, you're most likely gonna wanna secure it. Now, the really only way to secure it right now is with this PSU, because you kinda need to do that. And then there was, there's the PSU, and so I'm just gonna, you, the PSU has, as you saw in the last video, has some of the components that are required to get it seated. Now, first things first, let's let's put on some of these screws that just need to be here, like this one. This one, as you saw in the last video, is required for mounting. Mounting the motherboard and other things. And there we have it with this. Now, let's just put the PS, actually, you know what, I'm going to stop mounting until I can put the IR sensor back in because I took that off because I really just didn't want to deal with every, every all, all those other things. Now, now it's time to put this IR sensor back on, so I'm just going to seat. I also need to put this case on, so might as, might as well, you know, got this thermal, or not thermal, it's probably meant for thermal reasons. Okay, I'm just gonna... This is giving me issues. And... Copper tape. Move. And... Yeah! It's back in. And now all you're gonna need to do here is... Ah, shucks. The copper tape went in on the other side. Okay. I'm assuming this copper tape is for thermal dissipation. Because... I don't even know why you need it in this kind of thing. But, sure. Yep. And then... Let's go put this back on. So IR sensor. This is taking me way too long. And yes. There we go. Now let me grab my screws from my screw containment unit. The SCU. That sounds like something professional, but it's really not. It's just where I put my screws. And it's not even professional made. I just kind of put it together out of the random stuff that I had. You know? Because sometimes you don't have to buy all the professional made stuff. And you need to have stuff that you just make on your own. Because not all of us can afford to have the highest end, newest Apple products. Or to have the latest Apple iPhone. Because those are expensive. So... Even with things like this, you still you don't always need the highest end. Nobody like there's some things that you don't need to pay extra for. You know what I'm saying? Cuz you don't need to pay $300 more for literally the same product or something else unless you're giving them something. Which is why I literally made this thing out of Legos. This holds all my screws and I just use it to well, you know, how's my screws? Because you kind of need to do that. Okay. Here, I'm going to grab this and then secure it into place. Even though this is one of the worst ideas, do not recommend this. Just use a spudger or don't do what I did with the tape. And that should be good. Now, time to put this thing back on. When you forget where all your pieces go. 
Okay, I remember it goes here. Oh, I realized my failure. Okay. So, I'm sorry, but I drilled in this certain screw right here. Shucks. Right here. That was not supposed to go there. Uh, not yet, anyways. I, th I knew I was missing. I forgot something about it. And now I remember. It's a little too late, so I will just uh, put a note or something. Maybe. Who even really reads the descriptions of videos? Just just think about it. When have you met a person who watches a video and then reads the who and then actually reads the description unless they're trying to sell something, you know? Cuz nobody's going to buy like a uh, nobody's going to buy your darn spon like let's say you're sponsoring a video game and you put say link in the description. Who actually goes to the link? Like Comment and tell me if you actually if you actually go to the link that YouTubers put underneath their videos, if it's not for a part or something of that sort. So here, this is taking me considerably longer than it really should. It wouldn't normally take people this long. I'm just having very various difficulties. So I'll just probably put something to skip over this. Just because who needs this? And who really needs the things that I say? Because for cause good life lesson. Take everything you say on the internet with a grain of salt. Including the things that I'm saying. Just don't take that thing as a reference. As a actual like then listen to that because it's telling you to doubt if anything tells you to doubt something it's probably right just 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 to just 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 some information for your brain okay now for the PSU and that seems to be okay okay let's get this PSU, PlayStation Universal. Ha, huh, you get it because, okay. Is that some... Okay, hold up, I just got some weird sticky stuff on my, uh, my hand. So I'm gonna go wash that, and I'll return here in a sec. Okay, note to self, don't touch the greasy stuff on the bottom of a capacitor on an Apple PSU. Just, just common knowledge, just don't do that. Just, just, not recommendo. Now, here, let me see that back into place. Now, okay, that's good. Good and seated. Now, let me grab my darn screwage wire. Okay, here we are. Now, to put this stuff back in. Now, you ever just thought to yourself, how did I get in this situation when you're in a really weird situation and then like somebody walks like let's say you're uh you're I don't know you're 17 and you're at your mom and dad's house and let's say you get a bunch of like let's say you're dealing with kind of with this and then you accidentally get some thermal paste on your hands and then your parents walk in and they're like, "What's this weird stuff on your hands? And why were you and why were you in the bathroom so long using with the sink on? Did you forget to turn it off?" And then you ha you know exactly why, but even when you explain it to them, they're still confused. I have always I have been in those situations way too many times. I'll be taking apart something. And then somebody will walk in and then just see me just fiddling with something. And then they'll be like, hey, what you doing? And then I tell them and they're like, why are you doing that? There's other things that you could be doing that are more productive. Y you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now there's one more screw here. And I think that is... 
just about it for all the screws on the inside. Okay, no, it's not. Actually, it is because there's only one more screw on the inside. We put this screw back into the P. Oh, yeah, that's not secure. Oh, yeah. Oof. That's, I realize now that, okay, I'm just going to do that other screw. I should have done it before. There's this little screw that goes, shoot, right about here. It actually goes right there. And uh, it holds the plate, the back plate on. And so, if it's not in, then you're kind of like, how did you, hold up. That ain't it. That's not where that goes. I have a feeling I have been diagnosed with dumb. Okay. Because that screw, in fact, does not even go there. That's one of the mounting screws. So, here, I'm going to have a quick pause. And I'm going to review some of the footage to go find out where this little screw came from. So, you just, you just sit tight there for like a, a second. Hello, I'm back. I finally realized what that screw was, and I feel like I have the dumb. It's from the Wi-Fi card. So there's this little spot right about here, and if you insert the Wi-Fi card, it's exactly where it goes, and it puts it down. Here, I'm just gonna put this on here, and, uh, well, hope I don't die. Because I'm messes, messing with the Wi-Fi. I wonder, wait, what kind of Wi-Fi is this? Okay, it doesn't say. But it's assembled in China, and so it probably is maybe knockoff, because you've never, nobody goes to China to buy high-quality products. I'm, I'm just saying. Actually, you can go to high, China and buy high-quality products. But you can't go to China and expect to spend much money on those high quality products. Heck, I've seen people buy like high end um, CPUs like a Intel i7 7700K for maybe uh, three, two, 200 bucks US over there. And now, there's a couple things. Oh, yes, I need to plug this CPU fan back in. There's a little... It's right about there. And you just plug it in. And then you're done. Now, I don't know what this is for. I don't have anything else. And everything seems to be plugged in. I don't know. Okay, we'll just move on. Next thing, next. Oh boy. Oh yes, this screw. I almost forgot it. Shoot, that just fell out. Okay. Goes to this little spot right here. Because who doesn't need that? This is considerably more difficult than expected, but a. Hey. Okay. Just about there. Now, since we're just about done reassembling this Apple TV, it'll be the finishing of my first episode on an actual, real Apple product. Other than that phone episode, but anyways, who really watches those? Okay, so here, here's the thing that usually gives people problems, the hard drive. Now, not, not really, like, assembling it and disassembling it, that's, or, that's really, that's, this is the easiest part. But what gives people the problems is when it slows down. You see, I might be doing a, uh, MacBook Pro hard drive replacement soon, because, guess what? My MacBook Pro, or my, not Mac, yeah, MacBook Pro from 2009 that I use... Not very powerful, but I don't need the power. I have a couple game. I have a game console or two, and so I do all my gaming over there. Now, I use this for internet surfing and all of that stuff, and the hard drive is considerably is slowing down considerably. Also, 
This needs to be put in first or else you won't be able to get this in. I've learned that from experience. And... Expect issues if you haven't noticed. This is considerably more issues than I got the first time that I took this apart. Probably because I didn't do a full takedown on the first time that I actually took this apart. Now, I'm putting it off to the side so that... It's not so that you guys have a bad view. Because, why the heck would I do that? That's just bad for, like, anything. Uh, here and here. Okay. It's just so that I can keep the back plate on while I put in the screws that hold the entire thing together. And uh, once one screw is in, I should be able to move it. And uh, here we are. Yep, I was correct. This does go all the way through. Now, the big two screws go on this side near the hard drive. You can tell that because of the depth of the, uh, the braids underneath. I think they're called braids. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Also... With the MacBook Pro, I also have a uh, the ability to get a iMac Pro, which has a which has a that from the same generation that has a faster processor, uh, along with more RAM slots for more upgradability. I'm not sure. I know it's DDR3, but I'm not sure if it's dim or so dim. And so. Uh, Please tell me which one you want to see fix. Do you want me to take out some parts from the other one? From the not the other one. That that really is really bad. That's that's the worst way I could have put it. From the MacBook Pro and put it into the iMac? Or do you want to see the MacBook Pro just revitalized and put an SSD card in there? Because I was going to transfer... Because it only has two of the four RAM slots open. And so... Or it only has two of the four RAM slots filled on the iMac, and so I was just going to transfer it. But I'm not sure about anything else. And so, leave a comment down below. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. And, uh, see you next time.